guys, and welcome back to another episode of Cindy's Home Kitchen. I'm Cindy. Hey. This is my home, and this is my little kitchen, and behind the camera is my son, Mike. Michael, say hi to everyone. How is everybody? Hey, everyone. I hope everybody is doing great. We're great here. And anyway, guys, a friend of mine yesterday, I came, went over to her house, and she was making these. And I'm like, what are you making? And she's like, oh, it's a tuna cakes. And I'm like, oh, yeah. So I'm like, do you mind if I, like, after I see how you do it, if it's okay if I go ahead and, uh, you know, like uh, show my viewers and my people. And she said, yeah, no problem. So this is what she did. This is a can of tuna. As you can see, you can get any tuna out of your choice. Look here, Michael. Michael, look here. Okay? Yeah, and this is albacore. This I like the white one, but this is kind of like the store brand albacore. I don't like that dark tuna. I like this one better. So this is what she did. Okay? Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to break the big pieces into smaller. I will continue to do it. That's what she did. So one can of tuna, and she put it like that. Drain the water, of course. You see, I opened the can. <coughs> and how you drain the water is... <coughs> Back up, Michael, a little bit. You open it all the way around, and then you press with your fingers like this, and let all the water drip, as you can see, like that. And then you open this, and you take your tuna out. And it's dry, because you don't want that water in there. You one egg. Mm -hmm. And then, this is a little bunch of cilantro that I chopped already, because I don't, so that way we don't waste time, you know, and we go right to what we're doing, put it in there. And then this is a little corner of serrano peppers. The serrano peppers are the little small long ones. They look like jalapenos, but they're very thin in dimension. And uh, I'm going to tell you what, uh, my lips are on fire because when I was chopping that, I uh, I put my hand, pass it by my mouth, and I, is, uh, it was kind of like tingling. And then also uh, like three rings of sweet onion, okay? Already looks good. And then we're gonna take one tablespoon, one of these, like a little spoon. You can say one tablespoon, yeah. You know, one tablespoon of mayo. You don't wanna put a lot. If I need a little bit extra later, I will. And I have a little bit of uh, almond flour because you gotta hold it together. So um, let's put a little bit of, we're gonna start with something like this. What do you think, Mike? Maybe oh, yeah. a little bit more. That's good. Yep, just like that. So a couple of, of uh, tablespoons of almond flour, because you're going to need that to put together. And then what we're going to do, we're going to put all this together like this. See it? Mm-hmm. See, guys? I'm going to put probably a little bit more flour, because the flour is going to hold everything together. And uh, we also need salt. A little bit like that, and a little bit of pepper. You put salt, pepper, guys, to your taste. So whatever you want to put. If you like a lot, kind of like salty, then you put that little extra. I don't. I prefer them to be like needing a little bit of salt than adding too much. Because you can always add up, but you cannot take off. Because once that salt is there, you're on your own. So we're going to use a little bit more flour again. Here we go. Okay. So this is uh, what? One fourth cup. And I put before like half. So, you know, I need to uh, dry moisture, dry that moisture a little bit. Here we go. Now that's starting to look better. Yes or no, Mike? Oh, yeah. Right? And still, see, guys? So we're going to call these tuna cakes. That's what we call these. Okay? So uh, the flour is to hold it together, you know? So when I put them over here, if you guys want to come over here. So I put salt, pepper, and uh, garlic powder, okay? I put it here. And this is my pan that I have. I kind of like was trying to heat it up, but then, you know, Michael was making me wait here so we can make this video. So I'm here now. So as you can see, here we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put one on my hand like this. Huh? And we're going to put it in here, just like that. Okay? But these are cakes. These are tuna cakes. There's another one with the spoon. I know they're a little bit sticky and whatever. But then drop them off like you're making pancakes. Okay, guys? Just like you're making pancakes. And you're going to put them like this. You see, it's starting to stick. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put them like this. Let me get another one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to brown them on that side. And then after they're brown on that side, I'm going to move them, flip them over to the other side. So you guys know how that works. So I'm just trying like to shape them up here. Let me just rinse my hands. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to color them. You see how the, uh, 
a flame, not flame because it's an electric stove. It's on high, I'm gonna bring it up to five halfway. I'm gonna let it sit there and it only has, has one teaspoon, a teaspoon of olive oil that I put in there. So as soon as these are nice and toasty, it's halfway on medium. We're gonna come back and we'll flip them together, okay guys? So don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching this. You gotta come back and see how these are gonna come out because you are gonna love it, because I already do. So thanks for watching. So I turn them in both sides. This one is, uh, thank but This is, look how nice they love Mike. Look at that. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Now these are pancakes. I mean, um, tuna cakes. You see? What's that we're gonna call it, Michael? Tuna cake. Tuna cake. And guys, if you have like some tartar sauce, stuff like that, Sauce. You can make some. You can make some by uh, mixing some um, some mayo with some sour cream and some lime juice and salt and pepper. But uh, I want to try one of these. Mm. Mom, can I take pictures, mm -hmm. please? Oh, I'm good. My phone should take a picture now. And these are less calories, very fulfilling. Beautiful. They taste amazing. I'm telling you. But. You know what? The only thing that I'm missing? You're a wonderful chef, Mom. Like a little bit of, um, of a, like sauce, like some tater sauce. And I don't have any, so I'm going to make some. So anyway, I'm going to let everybody go. And with that, um, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on a Pinterest. If you want to donate a dollar or not, you can scroll down to uh, patreon.com and it will take you directly to the... Um, to the website and you can donate a dollar two dollars three dollars that will be good for us because we can uh, actually make more recipes and more stuff so with that guys i hope you guys learn how to make this you saw how easy it was i'm gonna make me a little sauce with some mayonnaise and uh, sour cream salt pepper and lime juice but i just want to show you guys look how pretty they are mmm I mean, they taste they're very healthy and that's the grano pepper that I put in there. It brings out all the flavors together. It's delicious. Thanks for watching. Love you all. And I'll see you again for another episode of Cindy's Home Kitchen sometime this week. Have a good day and don't drink and drive.